be talking about sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. First off, what is it? It's known as the ice cream headache, brain freeze, or a cold stimulus headache. And it is a sensation that occurs when you ingest something that is very cold very quickly, such as ice cream, ice pops, smoothies, and milkshakes. The name sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia means that the pain comes from the sphenopalatine ganglion nerve. How does it work? It is the result of fast cooling and rewarming of the blood vessels in the sinuses. When the cool food touches the roof of the mouth, the palate, the cold causes the capillaries to constrict and then dilate as a response when they begin to warm up again. Along the roof of the mouth, there is a spot where the brain's main blood suppliers meet. These are the internal cardioid artery and the anterior cerebral artery. When they are cooled, they rapidly contract as a response. Blood is then sent to warm up the tissue, and this causes the vessels to expand quickly. The tridentinal nerve sends a signal that this is happening to the brain, which perceives it as pain. This nerve travels through the whole head. It controls all sensation in the face, which means that the pain is felt elsewhere in the head and not just in the mouth. This nerve has three main branches. The ophthalmic nerve sends signals to the top of your head, the forehead, nose, and eyes. The maxillary nerve sends signals to your nasal cavity, sinuses, and palate. The sphenopalatine ganglion is a nerve branching from this area, hence the name of brain freeze. And the mandibular nerve sends signals to the jaw, also known as the mandible. Relief. So now that you know what this is, you're probably wanting to know how to fix it. There are many ways to relieve the sensation, such as pressing the tongue to the roof of the mouth to warm the area, tilting the head back, drinking warm water, and some say that breathing through the mouth and out through the nose relieves the pain. All of these cures work because either warm air is passing through the affected areas or warm fluids are. Connections with migraines. Pain experienced during brain freeze is similar to that of a migraine, and those who have migraines have more frequent brain freeze than those who don't. According to a study published in the FASEB journal, triggering brain freeze during a headache can stop the migraine from occurring or remove the majority of the pain. This is because migraines are believed to be triggered by a change in blood flow in the brain, and when the brain freeze is induced, the blood vessels reset their movement patterns. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share if you liked this video. Comment any ideas for future videos below, and if you would like to see more on food related phenomenon, let me know. Bye!